going on guys? Greg with North Coast Baseball Cards and today we have a 24 vintage card PSA reveal. Very excited to bring this video for you. Probably my most anticipated uh, PSA order I've been getting back. So with ultra modern cards we kind of strive for 80% gem rate. With modern cards I try to get an 80% nine rate. But with vintage cards we're aiming for a majority of the cards to come back fives or sixes. So excellent to excellent mint condition. Another goal is not to have them come back in the card holders I sent them in. That means that they were ungraded um, for various reasons such as minimum size requirement, trimming, miscuts, etc. So this is a 24 card order. It arrived at PSA on 11-19-2020. Entered in their system on February 5th of this year and back at my doorstep December 1st. So a little over a year um, ten dollars a card we will never see that again I can guarantee <laughs> at least in the near future so very happy and we did get some very um, good grades on some good um, you know legendary players so let's start off with the cards that did not get graded we only had three of them so I'm not too upset with that first off we have a 1964 tops giant Juan Marichal as you can see minimum size requirement got me there and then we also have, I kind of pulled them out of the sleeve, but we have the Maury Wills card didn't come back. That was a minimum size requirement as well on the 63 Fleer. And then the last card that didn't get graded was the 63 Fleer Orlando Cepeda. And as you can see, minimum size requirement got me once again. So, all right, let's get into the order. I'm going to go over about four or five 1969 Deckel Edge cards. Uh, this was a 33-card set. It was inserted into the 69 regular Tops packs. Uh, very hard set to grade due to the centering, and a lot of these cards came with roller marks. So let me pull out. I, this was the only card that got a qualifier. It was the Pete Rose. Got a three with a miscut. Do not like that at all. <laughs> but... You know, very happy to get it slabbed. Next up, we have Willie McCovey in a PSA 5. Very beautiful card. Very happy with that grade. Next up, we have a Juan Marichal. We got this in an excellent mint 6. And then finally, we got Mr. Willie Mays in a PSA 4. So pretty decent on those cards. Next up, we're going to do the 1964 Topps Giants cards I sent in. Uh, this was a 60-card top set. Uh, it was the first postcard size cards they issued. I believe the Kofax and Maze are a lot less scarcer than the rest of the set. So let's get into it. We'll start right off with the Kofax. And we got a PSA 5 in that. Very, uh, a lot larger than the standard cards, as you can see. And here's the back. Kind of have the newspaper and the kind of style in the back. We got a 5 on the... Kofax. Next up, we got Mr. Whitey Ford. We did get a PSA 6 in this card. Okay, I thought there was scratch on the case for a second. <laughs> and then this is um, one of the more higher-end cards we got. We got a Mickey Mantle, and we got it in a PSA 7. So very happy with that card. And then we had another 7. We got Mr. Frank Robinson. Next card we have is an excellent mint six. We got Warren Spawn. Next up we have Mr. Bob Gibson in an excellent mint six. And then another very good grade on a very good player. We got Mr. Hank Aaron, and we got that in a PSA seven. So very happy with that. Then finally, the last 1964 Topps Giants card I sent in was an Orlando Cepeda for the PC. And we got a six. Well, all the vintage cards are PC. These will not be <laughs> going on sale. And I usually give away one card during my PSA reveals, except for vintage cards. I will not give, be giving one away. All right. So the last stack is the 1963 Fleer cards. This was a 66 card set. This was the second attempt for Fleer to break into the card market. I think instead of bubblegum, Fleer included a cookie. 
um, from what I understand, and I hear they were inedible. So there are some short prints in this set. Um, the Joe Adcock is a short print, as well as I believe the Willie Mays is. Um, for the vintage guys watching, correct me if I'm wrong. It's all right, let's get into it. So first off, we got a Brooks Robinson, PSA 6. And this is a big card as well. I believe this is around a three or $400 card. We got Willie Mays in a PSA 7. Very happy with that. Next up, we have Carl Yastrzemski. Got that in a PSA 6. We got Don Drysdale in a PSA 7. Very happy with that grade. We got Mr. Sandy Koufax in an excellent mint PSA 6. Warren Spawn, PSA 5. And then the Joe Adcock short print, we got a 7 on. Very happy with that. Bill Mazurowski in a PSA 6. And then finally, the last card in the order, Bob Gibson in a PSA 4. So overall, very happy with the order. You guys noticed there was no Clementes in this order. I sent out well, I'm going to send out a separate order of just Clemente vintage cards. So yeah, very happy with this. Uh, next video, I should be getting to the boxes of the Topps Brooklyn collection in probably on Monday. I believe there's two autographs in each box. Um, so hoping to hit some vintage guys in there as well. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.